Okay, I want to talk about um, this fixed non-manifold geometry warning that pops up. I'm sure that you've come across this, I've seen this kind of a million times, and um, what exactly is this and what are the problems if we click on fix or if we don't click on fix. So let's kind of uh, talk about that. So I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to just undo this. <clears throat> okay. So you can see I've got this cube here and I'm going to go ahead and on this side I'm going to select this okay and this and I'm going to just press 4 I can see that I have some extra ones selected so I'm going to deselect these there we go and now I've got this and I'm going to go like this planar map okay great so I've got this um, side of the cube uh, UV map and let me go ahead and maybe do that with these other sides as well so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to do this I'm going to turn off if, if you have those selection dots I can go in here to preferences and I can go to selection and I can turn that off so I'm just going to set it to whole face and now if I use tab it's going to be a lot easier for me to select there we go and I'm going to go UV planar map Whoop. and on the planar settings I'm just going to say best plane there we go apply excellent and now you can see that I've got another face so now I'm going to do the top and project there we go and then over here planar map and here and then maybe I take all of these and lay them out so really oh you can see this popped up and now I feel like this is where our life starts to fall apart and we're like what the heck is this um, and then you might say ah well I'll just hit fix okay well first of all let's talk about why this is happening okay in this scenario here I do have something kind of bizarre going on and if we look at um, I'm gonna turn on the the edges and the edges these white edges should be on the edge of my UV shell which they are on all the sides and if I look at this one okay there's something kind of bizarre going on here because I feel like I have white edges around it but I have a white edge right here as well which is weird um, and why is that so if I look if I go like this if I go in here I have a problem okay I have an illegal edge kind of extruded inward and this is really a bizarre scenario so this is like let's say if I was uh, modeling this um, and I, I'll go to vertex face and you can see that I accidentally extruded inward <clears throat> maybe I did something kind of bizarre um, and what it's saying is that this UV space and this UV space is sharing an edge but it's also sharing an edge with another one so if I did this if I did you know modify uh, layout or sometimes unfold or whatever if I say fix it you have to be careful because what's going to happen is this if I hit fix oh all is good right but take a look at what happened here it physically broke this apart okay I can see it's physically broken apart like that and I can see that it released kind of this piece here so what it's doing is it's making it so all of this is legal so if I go modify layout hey great you know I'm happy I've got that all laid out it's just it's fine and dandy and if I go to my UV UV shell I can see that all of these are separate as well okay so I feel like once again if I go up here all that's one shell but then I can see these are separate but even worse it physically kind of broke that apart now I wouldn't know that if I didn't move it because you can see here after I fixed it the only way that I knew that that broke apart is because I can see the thicker white lines because the thicker white lines are showing um, well it 
that's where the UVs are split, but I think a lot of people don't realize that the geometry is split as well. Okay, so it kind of it kind of did fix the problem because now it's not an illegal UV scenario. So I feel like I've got this face, I've got this face, I've got this face, and I've got the inside uh, face here. Okay, uh, that one is. It looks like. I can technically, if I unfolded this, so if I go and modify unfold, uh, it would fix, well, let's see, this face here is, oh, I can go modify, let's see, unfold. And if that doesn't work, I could just go UV planar map. Okay, so there's that face as well. So I can legally, quote unquote, legally fix that. Um, or I mean, it, I can do my UVs on that. but. Still, that's going to be kind of bizarre, so I'm going to undo all of this. And now I'm also going to do, um, what's another way that I can kind of quote unquote find that? Well, if I go like this, if I go to modify, and if I say cleanup, or I'm sorry, um, mesh cleanup, okay, now you can see here it's saying, see those green dots it's saying whoa hey there's something weird on your uvs right there there's an illegal scenario happening now so what i do if i get those green dots now if it's yellow dots that could be something wrong with the geometry but if it's green dots uh that might mean that there's something wrong with the uvs so an example here let's say if i took this face and i went extrude but I never pulled that out. Okay, if I left it there. Now if I do a cleanup, so mesh cleanup, um, I can see that, yeah, once again, mesh cleanup. This highlights because it's it's saying, hey, there's you might want to look at that area, and then it's telling me, hey, there's a problem here, most likely with the UVs. So if you were like, you know what, I don't want to split my model up. What you could do is you could select all this stuff. Now, once again, if I go layout, it's going to ask me this. So if you are like, no, my geometry is fine. I don't want to screw up my geometry. You can do this, modify layout options, and I can switch this to legacy. Now I feel like for whatever reason, legacy is the old way of doing it. Now I can say layout UVs, and it will lay it out. It'll keep the problem there. Okay, so if you had some weird geometry issues, um, I can see here it still, it kept it in there. It kind of kept the illegalness, if you will, but it didn't destroy um, the model. In other words, these are still all together. So, but when you switch to legacy mode, so if I go layout and if I switch to legacy mode, then I feel like I kind of have to finish UV mapping it all with legacy. Um, I feel like it's probably better to use this one. And what you're better off doing is, I'm just going to undo this. <clears throat> if you can, if you can, let's say go into your model and say, oh, I see a mistake. I can select that and delete it. Okay, but be careful because I can, what's going to happen is that, um, oh, it looks like, okay, so that isn't, they're still fine. Okay, so now I should be able to lay this out. Once again, layout. Now I'm unfold 3D. Now if I hit apply, okay, I can do it, and it's not giving me the fix that um, non-manifold geometry. So, um, you know, hopefully that was helpful. I feel like that's kind of the way that I think about it. Now I feel like it's not going to be as obvious in your models. So... Um, sometimes I'll delete the faces. I'll just kind of recreate that shape if it's simple enough. And, um, or just kind of switch to that legacy mode if you don't want to kind of deal with that. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. Thank you.